Support is widely regarded as the easiest and most inflated role in League of Legends, so I challenged myself to get Diamond playing only Kennen's support. Here's how it went. In the beginning, it started off very well, winning most of my games in a pretty convincing fashion. I'd usually go relatively even in lane or trade kills back and forth, and my team as a whole didn't seem to mind too much. Early on, games were usually long bloodbaths or clown fiestas where the game ultimately was decided by one team fight, and if you play Cannon at all, you'd know that that is where he shines the best. I'd usually have a pretty high death count with slightly above average kill participation, and I thought I was doing pretty well for not having really played the role that much. There were games where my AD carry would ask me how this is all supposed to work, and if it's even good, I'd usually reply that I'm a one trick and that I'm queuing support, and gave them a brief rundown of the strengths and weaknesses. Those games usually went pretty well, but... After the first couple of days, I noticed more and more people looking at my match history, questioning my pick, calling me a troll, saying they're gonna int, which a few actually made good on their promise. And my thoughts shifted from this will be easy to what did I get myself into. There were games where my team would have a couple of smurfs or high win rate players, some one tricks with an impressive match history, and overall solid players across the board, but as soon as they saw their support hover cannon, all of that went out the window. That's when I started to encounter the Teemo bot lanes, the Severe jungles, the AFK Karthus, you name it. People seemed to really, really, really hate this pick. I'd started to seriously question whether this was going to be as easy as I'd initially thought. Now I've just talked extensively about how hated my cannon support was, but how did it hold up in game? Well, like most off-meta picks, games heavily relied on the enemy's lack of knowledge of the matchup rather than the actual strength of the pick itself. That's not to say it was bad having only a 52% win rate across an entire week of playing, but I found that for the most part, most kills I'd gotten or advantages I had gained was more so because of the enemy misplaying rather than me playing well. There were times when the enemy would take one good look at Kennen's support and think, that guy's trolling, this'll be easy, and didn't really give it their all to win. But in games where the enemy had experience against Kennen's support, or in hard matchups like Caitlyn Lux, Kennen felt useless. Now, if for some reason after all of this you think to yourself, hey, that looks fun, maybe I'll try it with some friends. Well then, first of all, I suggest you find yourself a good therapist. But other than that, these are my runes, I use these every game. A standard Electrocute rune page with Taste of Blood, Zombie Ward, and Ultimate Hunter. For secondary runes, Cosmic Insight is irreplaceable, giving you more uptime on your Flash, Exhaust, Wards, Sweeper, Zonias, and literally everything a cannon support could want. Hexflash is something I used to take whenever Spellbook Cannon was around, and in my opinion is also crucial to the playstyle, allowing you to be a bit more liberal with your flash usage, and giving you an easier time finding flank angles in mid and late game. Also, I did this a lot. As for your build, like you'd imagine, Kennen's support isn't getting nearly as much gold as a solo lane Kennen would, so I prefer to build him more as a utility stun bot rather than a full damage assassin. That's not to say you'll have low damage, far from it actually. But you'll rarely be able to 1v5 teamfights like you would be able to if you were building the standard AP build. Proto Belt will always be my mythic of choice, while cheap CDR and utility items like Zonia's, Ionian Boots, and Rylai's are all excellent choices. Some of the more useful bot lane combos I found were good all-in AD carries like Tristana, Draven, and Lucian, as champions like these can easily follow up on any stun or engage from Kennen, with enough damage to burst down any ADC. Overall, I had a good time with this nice little challenge. I don't think I'll be playing any more Kennen support in the near future, because the mental toll it takes playing an off-meta champion in a two-man lane got a bit much for my taste. But anyway, thank you all for watching. That was Kennen vs. Support to Diamond, and I'll see you later.